Greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here, and these are your new mods for today, Tuesday, November 30th, uh, along with some placeables. So stay tuned. We're going to check them out. Well, we have some exciting, uh, much-anticipated mods today. Uh, we're going to start with this. This is... Now, we have these silos uh, in-game, but this is the Silo Nutrio... Sorry, Neuro Multifruit Pack by Raleigh Christie 1 VSR Modding. Now, what this is, if we can take a look, there it is. This is the 2000 Multifruit and uh it's a modification of the in-game one it will now hold all your crops um so anything anything in game it will hold it's a true multi-fruit silo um prices range from this one which is a hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars and uh then there's a, this is 2 million liters of each. And uh, let's go hop in, take a look at the uh, the other two. I didn't have enough room here. I just, uh, I got the field out here. We got some, uh, some other really cool mods to show off today. Not a bunch uh, from, the, from the Farm Sim News for DJ. There's like 300 and something, 90 something mods waiting to be tested something crazy like that so we have we're gonna have a lot we're gonna have a busy busy next few weeks all right so the next one up the medium i guess you could call it this one at six thousand liters that's gonna cost you five hundred and three thousand dollars and then this big mother of a silo 16 million liters capacity for 1.245 million dollars you're gonna need a big spot of land for this um so not something perhaps useful right now but uh we will uh, see once um you know once some other maps come out uh that could be a very useful thing uh nice to see some multi-fruit silos uh popping up this early whoa <laughs> uh let's go take a, take a look at some vehicles now uh let's start let's turn this off let's start with this now we're familiar with this if you've played farming simulator 19 we of course are here on fs22 this uh, you may as you said may be familiar the case ih autonomous by univ universe simu modding of course all these mods will be in the description below the video um it's just as it is. It says it's an aut autonomous tractor, 450 horsepower, $299,000 to purchase. It sounds like that. And you drive it around like a tractor. <laughs> so, very cool. Nice to have a large tractor. Uh, what we're going to do with it today, uh, we're going to test it out. Um... We're going to throw this cultivator on there and see how it fares with this. Let's just drive her over to the field and we'll set her off to work. And um, that's always the uh, that's always the thing for me when I see a new mod. It's like, okay, cool. It's got this much horsepower. It does this and this. But, um, you know, is it gonna work now obviously it drives around it starts it, pull, it pulls stuff it hooks it up and uh, you put the, the cultivator down and there we go pulls it along quite nicely at nine miles per hour now worker 
set the worker off, let him go, and we'll let him do that. Next up, these lovely little beasts. Now, these are a mod. Def oh, hold on, do we have... Now, you will find these in... No, not telehandlers. Front loaders, there we go, front loaders. So, it is new. But we have three versions. As you can see, we have the uh, diesel, electric, and biogas. They all, this is the biogas. It starts up, it has an engine. Uh, it takes bio, f the gas that's, um, I haven't really tested it. It takes biogas, so not diesel. You'll have to fill it uh, with biogas gas now this is this one is the electric don't know if you can hear that it, it, it sounds like kind of a motor it's just there it is it's electric <laughs> uh, shut that off oh interior uh, when you turn it on a little light kind of turns on very quiet uh, this one interior turn it on can hear the motor running and of course the diesel powered one which will take diesel fuel at any gas station uh, so the electric one there is a electric uh, oh I bet you it's in the uh, construction Ooh, decorations uh, nope Yeah, I'm not sure where. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find it. Not sure where the generating or the uh, the power uh, module to charge that one. Uh, yes, Sue. So that is the vehicles. Uh, we have a couple of more placeables. I want to show you before I cut away uh, because uh, we're gonna do a little testing with these. Um, the uh, the front loaders I'm, we're just going to put a front loader on it and check it out uh, this next one oh, it's a little bit hidden here sorry uh, it's in between here it's the fire <coughs> fire hydrant it's called water hydrant by camelos 0397 <coughs> it'll cost you a thousand dollars to put down <clears throat> Other than that, it is a water point. It still charges you. I tested it against the in-game uh, water source that you can buy. So these are silos. Silos? No. Silo. No, not silo. There we go. Containers. So the in-game water container three thousand dollars <throat> um, the water hydrant is a thousand I filled this tank up with both uh, 3200 liters uh, it cost me three thousand two hundred dollars for this and it cost me three thousand two hundred dollars for the in-game water tank and it filled very slowly the <laughs> same as the in-game so the only Savings you get is for when you place it. It's smaller and it's a uh, thousand, not three thousand dollars. That's your water hydrant. Uh, the next one is very well anticipated, wanted, needed, uh, especially by testers. <clears throat> we are have the multi fruit buying station by eight to studio, and this will make your life and mine a whole lot easier shall we go take a look I'm sure Mr. Sealy P is just giggling right now <laughs> because um, we have a buy anything <clears throat> a silo now and what I like about it notice no collision on on the um, the tube uh, 
Uh, literally by anything, let's go to the beginning. <laughs> uh, so all of your crops, canola, so all soybeans, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, seeds, TMR, forage, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, snow, road salt, lime, pig food, stones, manure. Oh, I do notice one thing missing. If you, if you noticed. Oh, uh, probably. Oh, <clears throat> see, it'll only fill what's capable of carrying in the trailer. Um, hang on a minute. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, this is the grape cart, and yet, oh, they look very nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can buy grapes. There you go. Buying grapes. Yeah, no problem. Uh, literally buy anything. Uh, so I took, uh, water, uh, container. So anything this holds, you can buy from it. Uh, 8,000 liters cost me 600 bucks. So I brought this in back in here and let us fill it with water and... Notice how fast it fills up. Thirty-two thousand liters in no time and twenty-four hundred dollars. So the other two water supply um, points cost thirty-two hundred dollars. Let's say twenty-four. So that's a significant savings. My math is terrible, but there you go. Um, this unit only costs $2,500 to buy. Uh, you need to sell all your other, all your other silos that you have and your water thing, get rid of them all and get this because this is the bomb right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to need to do more testing on this, but, uh, it, uh, the description says multi-fruit buying station. Do you need a specific product for your productions? Is your harvest not good enough this season? Place this silo in your farm and you will be able to buy any product directly with an extra discount versus the market price. That's the uh, that's the, uh, the catch is there's an extra discount so you're not paying more you're paying less from this uh, so products available all base crops and grains all base liquids all base production products as long as you have something that it will hold such as grapes grapes wouldn't go into that trailer because that trailer does not hold grapes this trailer is specific to grapes. It, uh, I don't remember the cost. I was just like, oh, it filled up because I went there and this, this trailer only holds grapes. So you go under there, it immediately filled with grapes. Uh, there wasn't a menu that popped up. It had just immediately filled it. All right, so we have more testing to do. So uh, moving on to the next. All right, here we have the uh, the biogas one. I was just uh, playing around with that. This is actually snow I bought from the uh, the the, the multi celly celly point. <laughs> the awesome the the silo of awesomeness. Um, uh, with the largest, uh, this is actually uh, the Flegel beet chopping. As you can see, it's spinning there that's a neat little it's it's a 2300 liter front bucket quite quite large um, but uh, there it is um, as you can see the uh, it has a pin hitch on the back of these of which a trailer will hook up to it I filled this trailer with snow uh, It'll do that when you press X to activate the bucket. Kind of neat. Very handy. Or it will uh, 
Well, we'll tip out. But uh, anyways, I, I digress. Uh, let's dump uh, this out. Uh, so a very handy little, uh, well, it's, it's a front loader attachment on there. But since I have this 4,000 liter uh, trailer, uh, let's uh, put uh, solid fertilizer in. $4,800 for 4,000. So it's $1,100 per 1,000 liters. There you go. Your next must-have item. <laughs> um, let's go see how our uh, Mr. Autonomous. Ah, there we are. So, he did fine with this. He's good. They, as I found with some of the... Um, the uh, larger tractors, uh, they don't like trees. So I had them set off to work here, if you remember. Um, and he got caught up in the trees pretty much on the first go around. Uh, I've done the headlands here. I'm going to set him off again and see if that's going to be better. We'll be back in a bit. Oh, well, we're back. So, I've done some more testing. And I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think, well, first of all, let's, uh, I found the charging station for, so that's the electrical charging station for the electric one. Here's, there's a biogas, uh, shall we say, pump for the biogas one. And, of course, the diesel one is you fill up with the gas station. Uh, all, all fine and good there. <clears throat> uh, that's that. Um, that's the old autonomous uh, tractor. Um, that's pretty, pretty straightforward, plain and simple. The buy anything... Um, Uh, silo, um, really you can't buy anything in the game as long as you have something that it will fill into, right? So you're not going to get, well, here we got uh, milk. You're not going to get milk into a, you know, a, a, a trailer or a slurry tank. You'll get slurry into a slurry tank, but not into a milk something. Uh, these, uh, so... Implements will fill up. This is, I fill liquid fertilizer into this sprayer. It would take herbicide. Um, pretty much anything will fill up from that. Um, now, oddly enough, the uh, the website um, for these multi-fruit uh, silos <clears throat> lists... Oh, it says all type of grain. I thought it said, I thought it said liquids. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, an easy way to tell, <laughs> duh, silly me, is just look at your, uh, your, uh, what your silos are holding. And here, if it has, see, it says zero liters. That means it will take, although that is not true. Um... Because I've got grapes here in this grape container, and it would not, this would not take grapes. So these silos don't take grapes, although it says, it would suggest that they do here. Um, so, oh, uh, there we go. We can, you can, I can see. Sell grapes at the multi fruit buying station? What did, that doesn't. Wait a minute, I gotta check that out. I mean, I can sell it back. Oh, 
look at that. Obviously, it's not a great price. Now I'm going to just try it out. And I say, <laughs> Come on. Huck. Oh, this, the turning, the turning radius on this. Uh, if you've watched Mr. C. Le P's video, the turning radius on this is terrible. Why is it? Is it so? And the, look at the hitch on there. Can I lift it? Oh, the hitch on... Yeah, I don't know. It's, the hitch is so low that it's dragging on the ground. No, I can't sell any. That's odd. Why would it have it in the... Soybeans... S oh, it's... You can buy it for that. Selling and buying. Buying and selling. Oh, I didn't even notice that up there. So those places are... Oh, wow, look at that. Um, yeah, so soybeans, corn, potatoes. Well, there you go. There's your quick uh, money maker. Uh, the... Uh, you can check the prices on anything. Uh, you can't... It says you can buy wool. That's odd at the, how would you buy wool at the selling station? So you can buy silage at $12 per thousand liters, grass $3 per thousand liters. Apparently you can buy diesel, although, yeah, no, I haven't been able to to um, find something that will fill with diesel from there. Road salt is... F oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> fertilizer, $120 per thousand liters. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, anyways, <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, the, the multi-fruit storage. Now, it doesn't show snow here, but I did buy snow, and you can put it in there, although it doesn't show up. Uh, anyways, um, although the grape thing is, is, is curious, uh, that and the... The entranceway to these silos are very small, although that is what the standard in-game silo is, it, this is based on. Yeah, very tiny. You won't be able to get anything through there with uh, twin wheels on a tractor. Oh, I'm sure there's so much more to learn from, uh, from these things. They're likely... There may, may be an update in the works. If not, there's still really good that buy anything silo is going to need a whole lot more testing that's a whole video on by itself anyways i have rambled on long enough uh please leave a like if you would like <laughs> and leave a comment uh, or any suggestions as something i might have missed um please please do mention it um anyways um one thing you need to remember is it's just a game, so have fun. I'm Lily Farm Guy. Until next time, bye for now.